Today we're making refreshing citrus DIYs. Keep watching. I'm Brandy, and this is Making It My Own DIYs. Welcome. The first project is a lemon lime wreath. So we're going to need some type of a lemon. You can use the artificial whole lemons. You can use the sliced lemons. I'll talk about where you can find these shortly. We're going to use some burlap. This is from burlapfabric.com. We're going to use some of this ribbon from Dollar Tree and this I got at the thrift store. We're going to use any of these ribbons from Dollar Tree as well. And then a placemat from Dollar Tree. Check this out, really cute. I'm gonna use my staple gun, a 14 inch wreath, and a wood round. Now my wood round is thrifted, and we're gonna reuse it. I'm gonna use Mod Podge and some super glue. This is how big that round is. And it is bigger than the placemat, but that is not going to be a problem. I can adjust that. So I'm gonna trace it out first, trying to leave about the same amount of empty space on the top and the bottom. And then I am going to cut that out. I did pull that tag off. I don't want anything to interfere with our sticking it down on that board. So you're just gonna trim that out. And don't worry if you have a little overlap, you can always trim that off later. We don't all have 2020 vision, right? So it'll fit basically like this. Then you're gonna try to match whatever the background is. Now I started off with aqua. I did put the aqua down, but it's just a little bit too blue for this. It looked a little different in the bottle than once you apply it. So I do add a little bit of green to it to fix the color. Um, so no worries about that. I do get it matching a little bit better. So I'm gonna take that dishwasher safe, I believe, Mod Podge, and I'm gonna put it all over this board. Once it is all the way over the board, I am going to place, position and place this down. Now the two, the top and the bottom almost blend, don't they? They almost look the same. But you won't see it once we get our wreath part put together. So I'll take my little squeegee or brayer, whatever you wanna call this little tool, if you don't have one of these, go ahead and grab your driver's license, your credit card, whatever you have. And then you can even use old credit cards. How about that? Canceled cards? Yeah, you can do that. Gift cards. So then I'm gonna seal the edge and then I'll go over the entire thing so it has the same look. When it dries, it has kind of a shiny look. You know, not my favorite, I prefer matte, but this is okay. It's all right. We know it's gonna be good and safe and it's not gonna come apart. And that's the idea. So I'm gonna take something to put underneath to prop up that wood board so that the wreath will lay flat down on there. I'm gonna take my staple gun, try to get it kind of centered where it's even underneath there, and then I'm going to add some staples. You need at least four, but you can do more if you need to. Again, short staples, not long staples. I am going to take my zip ties, go around the outer two rings, and those are the ones that you see left there. You know you can get those, you can get rounds at Dollar Tree. And I'm almost out. I am out of my Dollar Tree ones, as a matter of fact. And I have some that are huge. These are the ones that are smaller. Uh, this is the last of my smaller ones. So we'll be going up to the huge ones before you know it. Each little crossbar there that connects the two rings together will get a zip tie. Then we're going to grab that burlap. And I think this is like a five inch burlap. Bundle it up in your fingers. Start wherever you like. I'm just gonna start at the top. And then I'm gonna tightly squeeze, press, and twist that in place. We're gonna lock it in place where it does not move. We're gonna go down 10 inches. We're gonna make 10 inch poofs. So go down here. Okay, so what happens if you don't have uh, burlap? Or you don't like burlap? Grab some deco mesh. It's really cheap. You can get it at the Dollar Tree. The look won't be exactly the same, but It'll be similar enough. And if you could find some yellow or something to match whatever you have on your placemat, that would be really pretty. So I'm going to do another 10 inches, twist it around, go all the way around and when you get back to your original starting spot, you're just going to go right over the top of it. Tightly, tightly. And then you can just go to the inner the inner part now this part the little poofs are going to be smaller we're going to do eight inch poofs on this part we don't want anything that is so big that it is flopping around and burlap is heavier than um than the deco mesh is 
So we're just going to do the 8 inch, go to the next little section where the tie is, or the pipe cleaner, and we're going to do a nice tight wrap. And you're going to go all the way around the wreath doing the same thing, 8 inches all the way around. 8 inches, we're back to where we started from, and to bunch that up, put it down in that pipe cleaner, twist it nice and tight, and then you can just cut it off. Now you don't want to cut it too close because when you're fluffing you may pull it completely out and you don't want to do that. So leave just a, a little bit of something that you can pull back on if you need to. You can tuck that section underneath or you can just wait and cover it up with the stuff we're going to put on top of it. Totally up to you. Not a deal breaker is what I'm saying. So then you want to tuck the outer fluffed parts, the 10 inch parts, into the 8 inch parts. Do you see? Now it looks like one big poof, right? Yet it does not get in the way of the sign underneath. And the little parts that are covered, we are going to fix. We're going to go down to, what is this, nine inches. And then we're going to cut all the ribbons that we chose to use together. So there's lemon and lime on this ribbon, plus that ribbon that's on top is a Dollar Tree ribbon. It matches what's underneath. So I think that these colors will work okay together. And if you don't like that, you can always use green or whatever you want to use. For the center, we're going to use a 12 inch piece. Fold it where it overlaps about an inch and a half. Bundle it up in the middle and we're going to put a little bow right in the center. Now that's a little something different, isn't it? Surely if this is not your thing, you can go ahead and just do stack ribbons of whatever color and thickness that you choose right there but I thought these were really cute. And this little idea just came to me while I was putting this together. I just, it, it just came, it, I, it actually didn't even cross my mind before it came out my hands. And that's something, that's the thing about crafting, that's what I'm telling you, that's about creating, it comes from somewhere else. It's a gift that comes from God, right? Okay, so we're gonna continue to do this. We're gonna do two, we have our little nice finished dovetail ends. We're going to put those down. Then we're going to make a little bow. So you just walk your fingers toward themselves and it makes like a little bow tie. It's almost like a little bow tie stack, isn't it? Nice and tight where nothing comes loose. I'm going to say two or three twists. You know, you don't want it to be too bulky and the more twists you put, the bulkier it's going to be. But you want to make sure everything is locked in place. Fluff it out, fluff the bow, fluff the tails until you get all of that done. Then we can make a little hanger for it. And I'm just gonna use that beautiful lemon ribbon that came from Dollar Tree. And we're gonna make a hanger. We're gonna put some glue on the end, overlap it so it's almost one continuous circle. I like the look of that, I think that's cute. So the fun part now, we can put our lemons and our limes down. And you can just watch what I'm doing here where I tell you about these lemon and limes. Okay, so I got these at the thrift store. Two different days, two different bags. One was mixed, one was just lemons. I found these. This is not a sponsored video, y'all. I'm not in any way affiliated with Timu, but I found these on Timu. And right now on Timu, they're like a dollar something a bag. Uh, two dollars a bag for six pieces I think so that would be perfect for your wreath I don't have a link though I don't have coupon codes or anything like that but if you're familiar with Timu just go in there look under craft and supplies or look under lemon and you will find these hopefully they haven't sold out now I'm gonna make some more little loops and go right over the center of the bow because I just don't I don't like the center of that bow looking like that you know, just pipe cleaners. You can leave it like that though, because it's yellow, it matches. But I like a little more finished for the little bows. I thought it was cute this way. Now, you can take that burlap where it is getting in the way, add a tiny bit of hot glue on the back side, and then hold it in place until it dries. Now you can see that it says made for sunny days. The next project is going to be a linen house. We're gonna use Dollar Tree products for this. So here's that ribbon. These are two house frames from Dollar Tree. I'm using them again. 
and this is a bag from Dollar Tree. The bag inspired this, definitely inspired this project. So one side's glittery and the other side is not. You know how it works at Dollar Tree. So I'm gonna take my hangers off because they can be used for something else. Even the sides of the bag can be used. Think about how many projects you can do off of one bag with all this paper. I'm gonna start by just cutting out the side that does have the glitter on it because it's a very minimal amount and the glitter is on my bag only on the little flowers. So that's okay and I'm all right with that. It'll give it a little surprise something because you don't usually see glitter outside of holiday decor in my house. So now you just take that frame. You know, everything has come off the frame because this is a picture frame. You take the backing off, you take the little tabs off, you take the glass off, you're just left with a frame. And this frame can be used in a multitude of ways. We're going to use that to trace out the bag. And we're going to flip that frame over. Add some hot glue on the bottom, flip that bag over, and then just hot glue it on the bottom. When you put it down slowly, you can make sure that it is centered and exactly where it needs to be because with hot glue, you know, you, you gotta work quick and it sticks quickly and you don't wanna tear anything. So pull to the sides, go all the way up to the tip. Now we're gonna take the other one and do the same process, but this time I use the side of the bag and it's a little more narrow than the frame itself, but you won't notice that when the project is done. So we don't have to do the sides here. We're just gonna do the top right where the bag touches the frame. And then you can trim off the extra. Very easy to do. This is such an easy project. This is so easy. If you're a beginning crafter, this could just be the thing for you. Very affordable too, and you can get everything at Dollar Tree. So we're gonna use some hot glue of course on one side and then we're going to flip the other side on it so we're going to sandwich the white sides inside and now both sides of this frame have a beautiful print of citrus we have oranges and lemons and limes look at the little precious bee on there so cute we're going to use that ribbon to go all around our seam try to center it if you want to just make sure that you cover up that seam as neatly as possible this is going to help structurally to hold it together also but it does give it a little something extra I think is really pretty all the way around till you get back to the beginning spot yeah we had a lemon tree and I was very saddened when our lemon tree did not make it through the last frost that we had very very sad it was last year and it just I don't know, and it won't come back either, and it's, it was a Meyer lemon tree. Oh, the best lemons to put in your tea. Woo. All right, so now we're going to add just a little bow to the top of it. Fold over your ribbon, any ribbon you have, because this is not a Dollar Tree ribbon, but whatever you have, and then make some type of a bow to go on the top. I'm just gonna use this in the center and tie it around. So we have a nice, finished, pretty little center. And then this can also double as tails for our ribbon for the bow. So we're just going to add a little bit of hot glue to hold that in place because it's not wired and it will try to flip. So now we're going to put it in place and make it stay there. We're going to like hairspray it when you got that wild hair that just won't do what it's supposed to do and you get the hairspray and just plaster it in place. I did that in the 90s. Woo! I had big mall hair, girls. Anybody with me? Did y'all have big mall hair? I had huge mall hair. You remember the hairstyles where the bangs look like a bird nest? Ew. Ew. I hope that never comes back in. Oh, okay. Then I'm just going to add a little lime hair on the bottom. And this is how she looks. Now, if you need a little more stability, say your frames are not level and it just won't stand up on its own, go ahead and make a little stand for the side that, you know, maybe doesn't have the glitter if you like the glitter part opposite of the bow. Let's put it that way. That's going to be the back. So now it will stand on its own. New videos are on Mondays and Thursdays at 6. It's free to watch and subscribe. The next project is a citrus shelf sign. We're going to use some white chalk paint, a paintbrush, grab that pretty ribbon again. We're getting our use out of the bag and that ribbon. A little scrap of cardstock, some beautiful 
yellow burlap and this little sign piece I've used it already and we're going to use it again we're going to stretch that dollar y'all so I could have used a bigger brush initially I thought I was only going to paint the inside and not the frame but then I decided you know what we're going to just do the entire thing white we're going to make all of this look crisp and pop and it's all going to be white I went over this and let it dry then I added another coat so that it had a nice rich coat of white. I'm going to roughly cut out the pieces of fruit that I want to use. We're going to go with the orange, the lemon, maybe one of those is a grapefruit. I don't know. I almost want to say that the other round orange piece is like a maybe a peach, but that's not citrus. So we're going to call that a grapefruit or tangerine. There you go. All right. So I'm going to use my glue stick. I'm going to go all over the cardstock. We're going to make these a little bit thicker make them a little more substantial. So I'm just gonna place these down in that school glue. Don't forget, go through those book bags when the kids get out of school. Get that extra stuff that the teacher send back home. Don't let that go in the trash, you can use that. All right, now I'm gonna gently press these down. If you're too rough with them, they'll all come sliding off of there. So we're just gonna kinda of hold things in place and gently press them down. Then you can do some more cutting. I'm telling you, you might not want to do all the cutting because it may be to you annoying or busy work, but it's worth it. Look at these. Look how pretty these are. All right, so we're going to grab that piece of our lap and we're going to set it down in the frame to see how much we need. And we're going to do just a little bit more than what will fit in there so that we can hem up that little edge, our little raw edge. I'm just sort of flipping it to crease it. Then I'm gonna add some hot glue in there, or some cool temp hot glue, and go all the way across that edge. Now you gotta work kinda quickly here cause you know it'll dry fast, and just flip it over on itself. And this is gonna make that nice little hem. I'll be adding hot glue on both of the shorter sides and that's where we'll be placing down the burlap. So you're gonna press that down in there. Protect your fingers if you're using the hot glue. And just press that in. Now there's a in some spaces, you know, these it's Dollar Tree, so the frames don't they're not always exact, they're not always flush or glued proportionately throughout. So sometimes there'll be a little gap, and you can take like a, a some type of a flat maybe like a little flat screwdriver or your credit card or your brayer and press that down underneath the frames edge to give it a little bit of a neater look I want to use this for the top some more of this beautiful ribbon so I'm just gonna trim it the way it needs to be trimmed to fit in there see it tucked underneath just a little bit I'm gonna add a little more glue to connect it down to the burlap and then pick your positions for your fruit I'll take these little poppets you can find something similar at the Dollar Tree. They're just little foam adhesive, like a riser. It'll give it some dimension instead of laying it flat down on the sign. And rather than offsetting it, you can, you can see like a little shadow around your items so that it gives it a little more dimension. And I love that, love it. I don't have to fake the dimension when I use these. Be sure you get under the leaves too so that they will stand up as well. Once you get them where you like them, then one by one you can pick these up, add a little bit of hot glue because we want these to be permanent, and press it down. I don't want anything falling apart in my house. Our house is off the ground. Uh, I suppose that it could shake, although it hasn't because it is a hurricane proof house. But uh, yeah, I don't want anything falling and breaking apart and no, we don't want that. So, I am going to take some letters. You can get some at Dollar Tree if you would like. I got these, I believe, while thrifting. And I'm going to paint them white and I'm going to spell the word fresh because to me, citrus fruits just scream fresh and freshness and oh, summertime and joy and I just love it. I'm just using a popsicle stick to help me with my placement. You can put your words wherever you want. I like it sitting a little bit closer to the fruit. I think it looks nice in that space. I don't want a bunch of glue strings, so I'm using as little hot glue as possible, just enough to get them secured 
without making a big mess and without glue squishing out under my letters. I don't want that. That is not going to give you a high-end look. I strive to show you how to make things that are, you know, budget-friendly, but they don't look like they're budget-friendly necessarily. So for the back of this sign, because this is intended to be, I guess, a sign that hangs maybe, I'm not sure, we're going to give it a little more support. We don't want anything falling over, like I said, this will help it stand up. And look how cute this is. See how it stands? Now obviously if you're giving this as a gift or if you're going to be selling your products, you want to always finish your bags. Finish the bags, make them solid, make sure they're covered. You can either paint them or you can cover them with craft paper, um, whatever you choose to do. Here are those three refreshing citrus projects that we did today. And I hope that you'll try at least one of these. Here's that little frame house. I think it's cute. This would be cute on a desk, wouldn't it? If you enjoy budget-friendly DIYs that are maybe a little bit out of the box, I hope that you subscribe to the channel. It is totally free. If you share the video, it helps show other people my channel and helps them to get creative and crafty. What a wonderful gift to give somebody. Here's the beautiful sign that we used the bag on and the burlap. You know, if you don't have burlap, just paint the background. See the shadows around the fruit? It just really makes them pop. Thank you so very much for stopping by. I'll see you again soon. Bye.